Welcome to another installment of How I Lost My Mind. This video is going to show you exactly how to paint eyes for your 3D printed models. Let's get into it. For Captain Marvel, I'm going to start the process with Deep Blue from Army Painter. And I'm going to paint the shape of the iris. This is the most important part. If you paint this part right, everything else falls into place. Making sure the iris is in the right place is a very important task. When you place the iris, you want to make sure that it is slightly covered by the top eyelid, but not covered by the bottom eyelid at all. The next step in this process is to take Crystal Blue, also from Army Painter. And I paint this within that color that I previously put down as the base of the iris. That color that I put down at first was just the outline of the iris. That's the dark portion you see on the outside. And I'm going to build layers on top of that, slowly building up, making sure that I keep most of the lightest portion of this color to the bottom part of the iris. This is how you emulate the shadows, laying over the eyelid and the light hitting the bottom portion of the eye. I make sure to do this extremely carefully. I also came back and darkened slightly the portion just underneath the top eyelid, just to try and push that emphasis on the shadows of the eyelid. I then came back in again with the crystal blue and I made sure to push the highest, brightest part of that iris. You don't have to be too careful in this part because you'd already laid the foundations by laying the base color for the iris earlier. I make sure that I keep pushing the brightness of that crystal blue because this is the color of the eye. The brighter I can push this while keeping the edges darker is what helps fake that illusion that the iris has life and that the iris has got shape to it. In this case, I used a satin black. It doesn't matter what black you use because you're going to put a clear gloss varnish over the top of this anyway. Very carefully, with a super sharp brush, I place that pupil gently in the center of the iris. At this point, you can't go wrong because it has to be in the center of the iris. If it's off, you're going to have a skew eye. I had to come back and add a little bit more emphasis on the highlights on the lower lid. And then I also came back in and did the lips of Captain Marvel. In my opinion, Captain Marvel is not the pretty type of girl, so she doesn't have the brightest color of lipstick on. So I'm going to keep her lips very natural. Now I'm going to use highlight. What is this color? Highlight skin. And I'm going to carefully place this in the highlight spot where the light is coming from. In this case, on these models, it is a light from the top of the model. I usually place this on the right hand side for me just because it's easier as being a right-handed person, but it doesn't really matter as long as both the highlights are in the same place. And remember we spoke about that gloss clear? This is the time you're gonna slap that all over the eye. Make sure to keep it within the eyelids and don't allow it to go outside the eye, but let it well up inside of the tear duct area. This is gonna make the eyes look wet. This is what's gonna give them the life. Also, this is what's gonna make your photos look like absolute when you try and take them because the light's gonna shine off of that. If you're taking photos, do the glass parts last just so that you can get good photos and you don't have a horrible glare coming off the lights from your real lights and messing with the highlight that you had artificially placed in there before. Now let's do Rogue. Being that I'm super professional and all, I completely forgot to record what colors I used for Rogue's eyes. But let's just say I started with a dark green. I moved up to a lighter green and you kind of know the process by now. I like to have my paints fairly thin for this process. Too thin and you're going to have oops of that problem. But don't worry because it's super easy to come back and fix that. All you do is you take water on a fresh brush and you go back in and you wipe off the paint that you have. Continue to keep wiping it back off. This is exactly the reason why placing a clear coat in between layers is very important because you can then go back and wipe off the paint without fear of damaging the paint on the layer below. Placing the base down for the other eye, again, like I said, this is the most important part. If you can get over this part, then you are already 99% of the way there. All you have to do is everything stays within this base color. I make sure to get that base as dark as possible because the rims need to be dark. If you look at any iris, your iris outer edge is a lot darker than the inside. You can also emulate that marble effect that irises do have 
However, this is a super advanced technique and I usually don't do this on most of my models. So working my way up through the greens, what I do is I blend the greens with each other and I slowly layer them over the top of each other, keeping to the bottom of that iris. Remember that the light is going to cast a shadow from the top eyelid over the top portion of the iris. So the top portion needs to be darker and the bottom portion needs to be brighter. I used the brightest bit of green that I have, probably added a bit of yellow to that green to make it even brighter, but that is the most important piece, is making sure that the bottom is light and the top is dark. Back in again with the black, gentle little dot, whoops, and that is your iris, oh no, and that is your pupil. And then after that is dried, you come back with the white, in my case the highlight skin from Vallejo, and you gently add in that little highlight spot. And wow, she got ass to kill. And never forget the most important part, to add the gloss to the eyeballs. Add the gloss. Gloss everything that is an eyeball. And also don't forget to gloss the mouth. That's how you do eyes, bros. And before I forget, I'd like to thank my latest Patreon, Hussein T, Jeremy Posey. Yes, that's right. Those are the coolest people in town. They are helping support the channel by being a patron of mine. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, make sure to give it a like and perhaps consider giving it a subscribe. Every subscriber that I get, I will have one more subscriber. And this is a good thing. Thank you for watching. And just remember, if you don't like that video, the only thing you've got left to do, the only thing anybody's got left to do, is just f*** off. You gotta do it like that, even though I'm stepping around things on the floor that I can't freaking stand yet.